Yeah, yep. Fish on. I'm gonna try to get this a little bit further in there from here. We peppered this little bit from the far bank. We've come around now. So I'm gonna get this further back in there. Yep, fish on. Got him. I knew he was in there. Got him. Oh, he's big. Ugh. I knew it. It's a good bass. Okay, hang on. I did this the other day and I lost him. He took that one a little deeper. I think we can get him. Yes, got him. That's a good fish, man. All right, lure's out. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, he's got a little bit of blood on him, so, oof. Stepped in a hole. A little bit of blood on him. He took that a little bit deep. We got it out though, without much damage. I do want to let him go in a hurry. I want that fish to recover. There he goes, back in his hole. So I came out to a different spot. I was curious what it looked like with the water so low, and my goodness. This pond is practically dried up. Normally I'd be in the water right now. You know, thigh deep in the water. But it's just drying up. But the fish still have to be in here, right? So they're either dead or they're just concentrated. Maybe a little bit of both. Let's get this out there again. See, there's fish out here, man. Yep. Fish on. That's a good fish. I don't know what this is, but it's on. Look at all these fish panic. What do we got? Okay, so that's interesting. It's a it's a channel catfish. You know, no surprise that there's channel catfish in here when everything else is dying, but is that what is causing all of these wakes? Or were you just the fastest to get to the bait? Very interesting. Fish on. Making sure we're on. Another very uh, yellowy fish. What do we got? Probably another catfish, same species, I'm betting. <gasps> what is that? Hello, what are you? Oh, it's a big, big bullhead. Oh my god, what a great looking fish. Okay, hang on. Wow, that's a nice one. Much much cooler catch than I was expecting. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> Ouch. These things bite harder than any other fish. <clears throat> Ouch, stop biting me. God dang it. Ow. Look at that. These things are amazing. Huge mouth on them. I mean, my goodness, look at that. Fish, as, as a biologist I knew once said, a marine biologist I knew once said to me, he said, fish are just a mouth propelled by a real big muscle. Incredible. Turn around, buddy. Super cool, super cool. Still not what I thought any of these fish are, so mystery continues as to what's making these gigantic wakes. We're about to find out what one of them is. Yep, fish on. This one's fast, this one's big, yes! Look at that! Not counting chickens yet, I mean, whatever this is, 
could throw this hook. He's coming at me. I'm trying to walk backwards to tighten the line while I use my hand for the net. And the fish is just coming with us. He's almost right at the bank now. What are you? What are you? Oh, he's a big catfish. Is that what all these are? Just, oof. Really big catfish? It's a good sized one. Maybe that's all that's left in here. One of the earliest forms of fishing actually, ooh, would have been, mm, would have been people walking around drying up creeks and ponds like this, finding fish stranded, mostly catfish, and uh, just, you know, picking them up. And from there, either fish traps or spears probably came next. And it wasn't until a good ways after that that rod and line fishing evolved. Oh, no, 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 no. Good fish, man. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy with that. That's a great channel catfish. Beautiful channel cat. Very, very feisty. Look at those whiskers, man. Very light colored too. Really neat. Let's get him back. I didn't want him to be on the on the mud. There we go. Really neat. Answers a lot of questions about what's moving around out there. Ooh. Yep. Fish on. Fish on. Ooh, ah, this is a bigger fish, bigger fish. Oh my God, what is this? He's very powerful. He went through our other line. Mm. Gotta turn this drag down. Don't wanna pull in that hook. What are you? I mean, I, he hit bread and a worm like instantly. So this has got to be a carp. Oof. <sighs> Fighting much harder than that catfish, 100%. It's not even close. It's a good sized fish. What are you? I still can't see it. Okay, I, I saw a black, black tail. Could be a buffalo. Oh, I think it's just another big catfish. Much more powerful cat. Oof. Much more powerful fish. Get you a little bit closer, see what you are. Mm, he's not giving up. This fish does not want to come in. Yeah, it's a, it's a big catfish. That's a, ooh, that's a beautiful one though. Dang, that's a nice fish. Look at you. He fought significantly hard. I'm gonna pull him up on the bank. There we go, boom. Look at the long body on these things. I mean, that is why they fight the way they fight. Channel catfish, man. They, they come in one of two sizes, annoying and awesome. This one is definitely awesome. What a fantastic fish. They take on a very uh, snake-like appearance, almost a dragon-like appearance once they start getting big like this. I absolutely love it. How cool. I'm gonna get this one back, hopefully a little bit more gracefully than the last one. 
try to shove him off in the right direction. Come on, buddy. Well, man, that fish fought twice as hard as the last one. Wasn't a whole lot bigger. He's a heck of a lot stronger. And there's still tons of fish moving out there, so I'm gonna keep throwing. That makes a lot of sense. Let me show you something. The battery stays alive long enough. When water sources like this one, small enclosed water bodies like this, start feeling the heat of these brutal summers we get in Texas, those fish are always the last ones to go. They're native species and they've evolved to live in water just like this. They're incredibly tough. Whereas you've got fish that are introduced like largemouth bass. They're tough too, but they don't have the same amount of time dealing with ecosystems like this. Catfish are specialists at surviving at just the toughest conditions imaginable. That's how they've taken over most of the world. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the amazing bass that were in here have died. I was hoping there'd still be a few left in here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. And that's just nature, you know? It's not that one fish out competed the other, it's one fish outlasted the other, and wouldn't you know it, it was the one that's been here longer. Shouldn't come as much of a surprise, although it is sad to see beautiful bass like that, you know, succumb to the elements. These incredibly hot summers are doing them in. It is also nice to see that the other species that I care about, the catfish, for example, are doing great. Oh, I think we're on. Yeah, yep. fish on. Very fast fish. Oh my God, these fish are insane. Oh, these fish are insane. We're on. Man, these things are fast, fast, fast. Coming in, he's probably gonna turn around real fast in a second. What do we got? Another one. Oh man, he's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. That one's pretty. He's light. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Nope. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The net's getting stuck in the mud. There we go. Ooh, my goodness. Catfish, catfish, catfish everywhere. Look at that. Beautiful fish. These things are just the best. Let's go ahead and get them back. I don't like releasing them that way, but it's just too shallow. I can't get a whole lot closer. Oh, there he goes. All that mud stuck to my hand from the catfish slime. Should have brought a rag. I didn't think we were gonna catch so many catfish today. Well, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Hopefully that pond won't keep shrinking. There's some rain on the way, so odds are this thing will fill back up real quick. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out the link in the description for the Patreon page and check out all the links in the description for our awesome sponsor, PC Fun. I was using their gear today. That's what brought in the fish, the PC Fun Carnivore 3000, this amazing reel. How often do you see a 3000 size reel with a power handle on it like that? Just fantastic. Good bait runner too. And I'm using one of their travel rods. Real nice. I could just break this thing down, put it in my bag. Fantastic stuff. So check out those links for sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of. Check out this video right here. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that button and hit the bell along with it. Make sure that you get all the notifications. All right, guys, more is coming. Stay tuned. I have to go track down some fresh water. I'll see you guys later.